Reverend Insanity. Chapter 426, Stepping into Northern Plains. Howl, in the night sky on the grassland, Poison Beard Wolf King raised its head, howling loudly for a long time. The ears of the few hundred Poison Beard Wolves near it twitched as their bodies shot out like arrows. The wolves split into two, moving in a tight army-like formation. The young girl Ji Yao ran for her life, but her horse had already died as her small red shoes stepped on the mud, she felt like her legs were tied with lead, extremely heavy. The sprinting poison beard wolves successfully encircled her, and the two ends met. They were afraid of the young girl's goo worms, thus they only circled around her and did not attack immediately. All of a sudden, a poison beard wolf lost its patience and jumped out. Moving quickly, its body turned into a lump of black shadow as it charged towards Ji Yao. Ji Yao shouted, using her goo worms. As she pointed her finger, a light blue water arrow flew out. The water arrow pierced through the poison beard wolf's head accurately while spiraling. This courageous wolf died on the spot. Its corpse fell on the slightly rotten grassland as it tumbled backwards until it stopped moving forever. Bright red blood quickly flowed out of its wounds, staining the grass nearby. The restless wolves stopped momentarily, but soon the smell of blood spread in the air and the wildness and savageness of the wolves were brought out. At once, hundreds of poison beard wolves started howling. Ji Yao's beautiful face was full of regret and despair. She should not have come out alone to this poison grassland trying to find some spira. Now she was in a deadly situation, about to be torn apart and eaten by wolves. Sorry father, I am not longer able to take care of you. Daughter knows that you arranged a marriage for my own good, but daughter does not want to marry. Oh, our ancestors in longevity heaven, if you can hear me, listen to my prayer and send a courageous warrior to save me. The attack earlier had expended Ji Yao's last bit of white silver primeval essence. Ji Yao could only pray now. The wolves lost their patience, the wolf king howled, and all the poison beard wolves charged towards the girl at the center, giving off an impressive aura. I am going to die. Ji Yao's expression paled, she looked at the wolf group in a daze, she was helpless. Right at this moment, a bright jade green light flashed. The poison beard wolves shut their eyes due to the light, howling in pain. The wolves that charged ahead knocked into one another, falling and causing a chain reaction as their assault failed and the scene turned into chaos. What happened? Ji Yao was shocked, ignoring her tears, she looked over. From the jade green light, the silhouette of a young man could be seen. After the light faded, a naked man appeared in front of Ji Yao. A, a man? Ji Yao's eyes were wide open. Her mouth formed into an O shape, she had an unbelievable thought. Did my ancestors in longevity heaven listen to my prayers and send a savior to me? But why was this savior naked? A huge question appeared in Ji Yao's mind. I reached northern plains, stepping on the grass barefooted, Fang Yuan looked around quickly. Oh, why is there a human here, and wolves, Fang Yuan squinted, to think that an accident occurred the moment he reached northern plains. This trip to northern plains had to be kept secret, to think that he was exposed so quickly. The wolf king howled, turning around as it opened its mouth, attacking Fang Yuan with its sharp and pointy teeth, targeting his neck. HMPH, a mere hundred beast king, Fang Yuan's eyes shone with cold light as a golden dragon appeared before him. Rank 4 Golden Dragon Goo, Roar. The four-clawed golden dragon roared, brandishing its claws as it flew towards the poison beard wolf king, crashing into it. This hundred beast king's body was completely smashed, all its bones broke as it was sent flying like a rag. After crashing onto the ground it struggled, but could not get up. Fang Yuan frowned slightly, using another golden dragon to finish off the Wolf King. After the Wolf King died, the wolf group broke down as they all escaped several miles away in a few breaths' time. Only the Wolf King's corpse was left, and also the young girl Ji Yao who was staring at Fang Yuan blankly. Fang Yuan directed his dark, eerie gaze towards this young girl. 
The young girl was wearing a leather robe exclusive to Northern Plains. The robe was blue and white, with golden rims at the edges showing off elegance and purity. There was a purple gold belt at her waist and also many beautiful and small accessories on her black lustrous hair. She also had bright red leather shoes. Her skin was slightly dark, but still had a pinkish tone, it was the unique skin tone of Northern Plains natives. Her body was slim and strong, like a cute little deer. Ji Yao retreated one step after Fang Yuan's stare, and she asked curiously, Who are you? Are you sent from Longevity Heaven, the hero who is tasked to save me? Before waiting for Fang Yuan's reply, she continued, I am a member of Ji Tribe, my name is Ji Yao. My father is the tribe leader of G Tribe, young warrior, you saved my life, you will be most welcomed in G Tribe. Oh, I have not asked for your name yet. Fang Yuan laughed heartily. Beautiful lady of the grassland, just call me Chang Shan Yin. Longevity heaven is giant sun immortal venerable's place of residence, how could I have come from there, I am but a mere goo master. Saying so, he took out a wine cup from his aperture. The top half of this cup was gold, the bottom was silver. It was rank 5 and was used as storage. It was the moving perspective cup goo that Fang Yuan refined in the blessed land. After Fang Yuan injected primeval essence into it, he took out a set of clothing. This was a set of black tight-fitting battle attire. After wearing it, Fang Yuan gave off a sturdy and valiant aura. During the process, Ji Yao stared at him fixedly, her heart pounding as her face turned red. The young women in the grassland were this open about their feelings. After Fang Yuan wore his clothes, he walked towards the corpse of the Poison Beard Wolf King. Poison Beard Wolves were commonly seen in northern plains, but different from other wolves, they did not have a strand of fur, instead their bodies were black, and their skin looked it, it was covered in a layer of enamel. They did not have ears, only two long mustaches that were five inches long. When they ran, their mustache will sway along the wind beside their bodies. When they fought, the mustache will stand up straight. Fang Yuan searched, but did not gain anything. This poison beard wolf was a hundred beast king, it had rank two goo worms in it. There were two rank two goo worms on this wolf, acid goo and poison needle goo. Acid goo could allow it to shoot out green acid from its mouth, corroding flesh, or even steel and rocks. Poison needle goo shot out poison needles, it was an offensive technique. But unfortunately, Fang Yuan only got fragments of these two goo. There were no defensive goo on this wolf king, no wonder it was so easily killed by Fang Yuan. Normally, beast kings could have enslavement goo in them. For example, on a dog king, there might be dog enslavement goo, on a wolf king, there might be wolf enslavement goo. Even if it was a rank 2 wolf enslavement goo, Fang Yuan needed it now. Just as Fang Yuan was searching the wolf corpse, Ji Yao walked over. Chang Shan Yin, your name sounds familiar. Are you a member of Chang tribe? But looking at your clothes, you seem to be an outsider. Are you from Eastern Sea, Central Continent? or western desert. Fang Yuan stood up. I am from northern plains. The young girl pouted, showing her white teeth as she laughed. Liar, we northern plains natives do not have an accent like yours. Warrior Chang Shan Yin, don't worry, you saved my life. You are a benefactor of the Ji tribe. We will not ostracize you. Be it central continent, southern border, or northern plains, as long as it is an outsider, they will be ostracized. Before waiting for Fang Yuan's reply, the bubbly girl pointed at fixed immortal travel goo on Fang Yuan's shoulder, asking, Warrior Chang Shan Yin, this goo on your shoulder is so beautiful. What goo is this? Did you bring this goo over? Fang Yuan's gaze concentrated, observing this young girl's expression. She was not acting or pretending, she really had shallow knowledge, she did not know this fixed immortal travel goo, this made Fang Yuan slightly relieved. The killing intent in his heart surged, but he showed an honest and sincere smile on the outside. Beautiful young girl, are you a lark? Why are you constantly chirping non-stop? Hehe, <laughs> alright, I have to go, until we meet again. 
Fang Yuan raised his head, looking at the stars in the sky, trying to determine the direction. Next, he walked past Ji Yao towards the deeper parts of the poison grassland. The young girl quickly caught up. I am not a lark, it's your fault for being so mysterious and appearing so suddenly. Hey he he, don't go there. This direction is the way out of poison grassland. I am going inside. Fang Yuan replied without turning around. Why are you going in? The deeper you go into the poison grassland, the more dangerous it gets. Although you are rank 3 peak stage, your fists cannot rival an entire wolf pack. Ji Yao sprinted towards Fang Yuan, urging him. The five regions of the Gu world were independent. When Gu masters cross regions, their battle strength will be suppressed by one rank. Fang Yuan was a southern border Gu master. When he is in northern plains, he will be suppressed when battling. Although his aperture still has rank 4 peak stage true gold primeval essence, the effectiveness was only at rank 3 peak stage snow silver primeval essence. Thus, Ji Yao felt that his aura was rank 3 peak stage. In addition, the rank 4 golden dragon Gu from southern border could only display the strength of a rank 3 Gu. If this was southern border, one blow from the golden dragon Gu would have killed this poison beard wolf without doubt. But here in northern plains, Fang Yuan had to use it twice to kill the wolf king, and the wolf king's corpse was still intact at the end. Fang Yuan's steps halted as he looked at Ji Yao with a solemn expression and a determined gaze. I am going into poison grassland for my own reasons. Ji Yao was stunned by this aura, reacting only after Fang Yuan had walked a few steps away. The girl quickly chased him. Warrior Chang Shan Yin, I'll go with you, we can take care of each other. Got her. Fang Yuan's lips curled into a smile. His currently battle strength was only rank 3 peak stage, it was insufficient to charge into Poison Grassland's deepest part. Thus, he needed Northern Plains Goo Worms to arm himself. But even if he killed Ji Yao, he might not get her set of Goo Worms. Thus, Fang Yuan set a little trap, purposely acting distant, easily tricking the young girl into joining him. Chapter 427 Just Take Me Although this was Fang Yuan's motive and Ji Yao took the initiative to join him, Fang Yuan still asked her, Take care of each other, what do I need you for? Saying so, he ran his eyes over her, his tone carried a hint of arrogance. The girl immediately raised her head. Don't you know the poison grassland is filled with purple poison fog and you will be poisoned if you breathe it for a long time? I have detoxification goo worms with me. Also, the deeper you go, the denser the poison fog will become as ghosts and spirits will also appear. At that time, you won't be able to distinguish the direction, and only my return heart goo can point out the correct way back. Goo. As the girl said this, her stomach suddenly let out a hungry rumbling sound. Fang Yuan glanced at her stomach, and the girl immediately felt her face go red. She explained while stammering, This... My big stomach horse was eaten by the poison beard wolves. My primeval stones and rations were all stored there. Big stomach horse was a mount that was extremely popular in northern plains. It had two stomachs, one was used to consume food and another was used to store goods. The goo masters of northern plains usually use this type of big stomach horse when relocating their homes. Fang Yuan curiously asked, since your father is Ji tribe's tribe leader, why are you his own daughter using such a common mount? Sigh, he kept my goo away from me. Being able to escape alone with a big stomach horse and preparing so much resources was already amazing. Ji Yao spoke frankly but right after saying it, she felt something wrong and her expression turned sluggish as she realized what she had said. Escaped? Could it be that you are escaping from marriage? Fang Yuan raised his brows. The little girl exclaimed in surprise and looked at Fang Yuan with wide eyes. Do you have mind reading Gu? How did you know? Fang Yuan laughed. He was only guessing, but it was not without any evidence. In Northern Plains, the position of women was much lower than that of men, even being treated as goods and casually sold in markets. 
In southern border there were female clan leaders, but northern plains had no such precedence and women were not allowed to be in power. Why was that so? This tradition dated back to the era of giant sun immortal venerable. In Fang Yuan's memories, during these three years, many great heroes would fight for supremacy in northern plains and a great storm would blow. Eventually, High Tribe leader Hai Lu Lan succeeded and became the lord of the imperial court for ten years. He was also the most controversial lord of the grassland in future generations. Hai Lu Lan was extremely lecherous, and after becoming the ruler of the grassland, he made beauties of many tribes part of his harem. But on other hand, he made a new policy to raise women's status and attempted to create gender equality. This gravely infringed upon all forces' interests and led to conflicts, causing an institutional turmoil among all Northern Plains tribes. Thus, Hai Lu Lan had only been the lord of the grassland for two years when he was deceived by his own tribesmen to go outside the imperial court and was killed secretly. Immediately following, all tribes allied to overthrow High Tribe's rule and again contended for the position of the ruler of the imperial court. The bloodshed and war lasted for an entire five years before it settled. After this chaotic war, every tribe of Northern Plains suffered great losses, and in the future, when Central Continent attacked the four other regions, this became the greatest weakness of Northern Plains. A lot of Northern Plains women thus choose to run away in order to avoid marriage. This girl standing before him had come alone to poison Grassland, even though she was the daughter of the tribe leader. Fang Yuan naturally made such a guess. Fang Yuan took out food from moving perspective cup Gu and gave them to Ji Yao. This girl seemed to be very hungry. She wolfed down the food and rolled her eyes, slurring her words. It was Man Duo of Man Tribe who wanted to marry me. He is Man Tribe leader's third son and is thin and small like a monkey. Moreover, he is suffering from illness and only has rank 2 cultivation. Usually, he would rely on his father to act tyrannically in his tribe. He has not the slightest bit of heroic spirit. I don't want to marry to such a good for nothing. But Man Tribe was a huge force, while our G Tribe has just migrated over with greatly reduced strength. Man Tribe's betrothal gift was also very grand, and they also promised to give a piece of fertile grassland to my G Tribe. Father wanted these gifts and tried to marry me off. And so in my fury I fled. Warrior Chang Shan Yin, how about you snatch me? Northern Plains had simple and coarse customs. One of their customs was bride kidnapping. The snatched bride was often more precious than an officially married wife. Fang Yuan laughed. I have no interest in you, eat quickly, we will leave after you are full. Ji Yao's dark pupils darted around. There is another method, that is, you can marry into my Ji tribe. According to the grassland customs, only a brave warrior can possess beauties. Even if Man Tribe wants to find trouble, it has to be done according to the customs. Man Duo, that skinny monkey would have to challenge you to a fight. Warrior Chang Shan Yin, you are so strong, you will certainly beat that Man Duo to a pulp. Fang Yuan stopped smiling. I said I don't have any interest in you. Ji Yao, however, became even more passionate and displayed Northern Plains women's characteristic boldness and wildness. Why don't you have any interest? Could it be that I am not beautiful? I am the flower of Ji tribe. That kid man duo glanced at me from afar and fell for me at first sight, asking his father to propose the marriage. Warrior Chang Shan Yin, there are benefits for you as well in living with my Ji tribe. You are an outsider if you don't marry into the tribe, others will not take you as one of their own, and you will suffer exclusion and vigilance in northern plains. Fang Yuan said with a solemn tone, I said I am a Northern Plains native. Ji Yao gave a sweet smile. Warrior, you can't deceive me. Your accent revealed your background and your food is also not the Northern Plains biscuits and dried meat. Just take me, don't you think our encounter is the arrangement of longevity heaven? Fang Yuan lowered his head to cover the cold light that was vaguely flashing in his eyes as the smile on his face became deeper. Let me consider it for a while, don't be in such a hurry to decide. 
Fang Yuan said and gave some primeval stones to Ji Yao. Ji Yao nodded. You have to think about it properly, properly. She took the primeval stones and said with a cautious tone, I will return these primeval stones to you in the future. Fang Yuan nodded. Ji Yao did not speak anymore and concentrated on absorbing the primeval stones to replenish her primeval essence and recover her strength as fast as possible. As they continued moving deeper into the poison grassland, the thin poison in the air gradually became denser. They were unnoticeable before to the naked eyes, but now one could clearly see the light purple color. Stop! There is a wolf pack! Ji Yao suddenly stopped her gaze revealing panic. Clearly, the battle with the poison beard wolves had left a deep impression on her. Fang Yuan stopped, and after three breaths of time, he discovered the tracks of the wolf pack with his investigative goo worm. He could not help but glance at Ji Yao, indeed as a tribeswoman, the investigative goo worm on her was great. Fang Yuan had refined this rank for investigative goo in Hu Immortal Blessed Land, but in Northern Plains it was suppressed and could not compare to Ji Yao's rank 3 Gu. The wolf pack's excited howls got louder and louder. Soon, hundreds of poison beard wolves appeared in their vision. So many wolves, Ji Yao's face turned pale and her delicate body trembled as she took in a breath of cold air. The wolf pack's numbers were many times higher than the previous ones, reaching close to a thousand. The stronger the Beast King, more the number of beasts they could control. This hundred Beast King was clearly much stronger than the previous one. HMPH, what are you panicking for? Just protect yourself. Fang Yuan snorted and fiercely stomped his foot, charging forward. Ji Yao exclaimed in shock at this, she wanted to call out to Fang Yuan, but he had already entered the wolf pack. Many poison beard wolves ran and charged at Ji Yao. The girl shouted in her delicate voice, Water armor. Immediately, water vapor condensed and formed into a layer of light blue armor that covered here whole body. Spiral water arrow goo. She extended her finger and a spiral water arrow flew out. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. She killed three poison beard wolves instantly while injuring five or six more. But at the same time, a dozen poison beard wolves came charging at her. The girl panicked and retreated, responding in a flustered manner. Water Dragon Goo She pushed with her palms and a three-clawed water dragon whistled out and swept through the surroundings, increasing the water vapor in the air. With the appearance of the water dragon, Ji Yao was able to control the situation. Warrior Chang Shan Yin Don't Die The girl immediately looked at the center of the wolf pack. She was almost stunned at the sight. The scene she saw was not what she had expected, she only saw Fang Yuan charging all over the wolf pack, every collision would send large numbers of poison beard wolves flying. The ferocious poison beard wolves seemed to be weaker than sheep in front of him. His whole body was covered in a layer of bright golden light armor, and a golden dragon came out occasionally, sweeping through the surroundings. There were so many poison beard wolves, but they could not subdue him. He was fierce and fearless, his fighting style was extremely valiant, his every move would cause the wind to scream. His strength was so huge that as long as a poison beard wolf came into contact with his fists or kicks, their skeleton would definitely shatter, and they would howl with pain, no longer able to stand up. Not only that, he was also fighting an intense battle with the Wolf King. This poison beard wolf king was indeed very strong. Lightning flickered around its whole body, and it occasionally shot out green venom. Its movement speed was so fast that it created an afterimage when it ran. This wolf king has at least three wild goo. Ji Yao's heart sank as she learnt this, becoming worried for Fang Yuan. Soon, the girl let go of her worry and admiration towards Fang Yuan rose in her heart. Fang Yuan fought in a smart manner, he was continuously on the move, and did not blindly engage with the Wolf King, instead using the ordinary poison beard wolves to hinder the Wolf King's movement. The Wolf King had movement goo, but it was restrained by the Wolf Pack and could only passively take a beating. Fang Yuan's fists attacked its targets with high power. 
Ji Yao's blood boiled at the scene. This is a true man, she exclaimed in her mind, and after disposing of the poison beard wolves around her, she shouted loudly and sent the water dragon to kill the wolf pack. She was after all a rank three middle stage goo master, she was not to be underestimated. The wolf pack immediately turned chaotic from the attacks and a large portion of them rushed towards her. Fang Yuan's expression changed as he shouted, Who told you to come? Move to the side. The girl's face turned pale at the wolf pack's counterattack and immediately retreated. Fang Yuan continued to attack with boundless vigor, and after spending a huge effort, he finally turned the wolf pack's attention back to him. After some time, he suddenly activated a beast phantom and smashed the wolf king's defense. Taking this chance, he got close to the wolf king and pressed its skull down to the ground, then he ruthlessly smashed it. It was a brutal scene. This wolf king that was on the verge of becoming a thousand beast king was beaten to death by Fang Yuan. Chapter 428 Sea of Ghost Face Sunflowers With the death of the wolf king, the wolf pack's morale collapsed and they all started fleeing in disorder. A fierce battle ended so abruptly. Bu got injured. Ji Yao came running and looked with a concerned gaze. It's nothing. Fang Yuan's injuries looked terrifying, but it was all under his control. He activated self-reliance goo on the spot. The wounds started closing and healing. Self-reliance goo was a rank 3 goo, but could only show the effects of a rank 2 in Northern Plains. After Fang Yuan's injuries healed a little, its effects immediately weakened. Warrior Chang Shan Yin, let me heal you. Ji Yao waved her hand and water vapor rose, forming a green-blue cloud above Fang Yuan. Light rain started pouring down from the cloud and splashed upon Fang Yuan's body, healing his wounds. This is spring rain goo, Fang Yuan furrowed his brows. This goo has a huge healing range, isn't it a waste to use it on just me alone? Deactivate it. After saying so, he activated golden breeze goo. This goo was obtained from Tai Mubai and was a rank 4 healing goo, but now it only showed the efficiency of a rank 3. However, it was still a top quality goo. Ji Yao saw a golden whirlwind form beside Fang Yuan. After it spun around him several times, all his wounds disappeared. What goo is this? The girl asked curiously. Fang Yuan did not reply, but turned around and crouched down, searching the Wolf King's corpse carefully. Ji Yao followed behind him and bent her back to look at him, exclaiming in praise, Warrior Chang Shan Yin, you are a true expert. Father has always told me that going into battle by just relying on one's cultivation is stupid. I saw you charging into the wolf pack, it was such a dangerous situation, but you moved skillfully like it was a simple task. I finally understood that what father said was true. Fang Yuan snorted and stood up. With his 500 years of battle experience, it was rather easy for him to do this. If not for the region's restriction, how could he take so much time to deal with this puny wolf pack? After searching, he found out that the wolf king had three wild goo, but they were all dead. Fang Yuan's expression turned unsightly at the lack of loot, he glanced at Ji Yao and said gruffly, Stupid? Do you think you are just stupid? You are utterly stupid. Ji Yao was immediately stifled. Hey, why are you so blunt? HMPH earlier, your careless attack attracted most of the wolf pack and almost screwed up my control of the situation. Do you have the brains of an ox? Fang Yuan snorted and blamed. Ji Yao knew that it was her mistake. Her aura immediately weakened and she lowered her head, looking at her feet. I know you attracted most of the wolf pack away from me, but I also wanted to help you. Fang Yuan heaved a sigh. Forget it, I will let it go this time. I will try to make an effort to teach you what you have to do too, so that you will not impede me again in the future. Who needs you to teach? Ji Yao turned around and snorted with dissatisfaction. You need to be calm when activating spiral water arrow goo. If you just recklessly shoot them, you would simply be wasting your precious primeval essence rapidly. 
Water Dragon Goo wastes a lot of primeval essence, don't use it if it is not necessary. This is why you are always running out of primeval essence. Don't use Spring Rain Goo, that is a large-scale healing goo that is not worth it for just the two of us. As they continued on their way, Fang Yuan gave many tips to Ji Yao. The girl's words before were just said in a fit. Although she did have a young Missy's temperament, this was something that concerned her deeply, so she earnestly listened to the suggestions and absorbed the knowledge, improving rapidly. The two continued moving through poison grassland and ran into several waves of wolf packs, and Ji Yao's performance also became better each time. Haha, -ha, are you afraid? You abominable poison beard wolves get lost. After repelling a poison beard wolf pack again, Ji Yao stood with her hands on her hips as she said proudly, Truly a naive girl. Fang Yuan looked at her back with a cold light flashing across his eyes. Naturally, the reason he guided Ji Yao was not purely to raise her battle strength, more importantly it was to probe out her goo worms. The result was, the girl revealed all her trump cards to Fang Yuan. Ji Yao was a water path goo master with rank 3 middle stage cultivation. Rank 3 fog sparrow goo as the investigative goo. 3 claw water dragon goo and spiral water arrow goo for attack. Water armor goo for defense. Water trace goo for movement. And spring rain goo for healing. She did not have a storage goo. The big stomach horse she used to replace this aspect had already died by wolf pack's claws. Besides these, she also had cleansing goo for detoxification and return heart goo for discerning the direction. This set of goo worms was very appropriate given her identity. Fog Sparrow Goo was a very precious investigative goo among rank 3, which could condense fog into sparrows that could fly to scout the area and had a very huge range. Her attack and defense goo were also of top quality. Water Trace Goo's ability to raise the speed could almost rival some rank 4 goo. The only disadvantage was that the Water Trace would leave behind footprints that were easy to track. At the same time, it would make the shoes wet. This goo had the potential to be nurtured. At rank 4, it could become Wave Trace Goo, which had an even stronger effect. For rank 5, it had two different refinement directions. One was Wandering Wave Trace Goo that had instant evasion properties, and another was the River Wave Trace Goo that allowed the Goo Master to run quickly on water surfaces. At rank 6, it would be the extremely famous Worldly Wave Trace Goo. All of these Goo were the best among rank 3. Along with Fang Yuan's meticulous guidance and the Wolf Pack's pressure, it was no wonder Ji Yao was improving rapidly with her battle strength rising step by step. Warrior Chang Shan Yin, you are a sage. Your guidance is much more amazing than my tribe's three top elders. Even if you don't take a fancy upon me, I want to invite you to be a guest of our G tribe. If you are interested, I will do my best to persuade father to make you an external elder. Ji Yao turned around and walked to Fang Yuan's side and invited him with a sincere expression. She was after all the young Missy of Ji tribe, her foresight was extraordinary. She realized Fang Yuan's worth, not only his bravery, but more importantly his ability to educate others. This was the strength of wisdom, if he educated the tribe's next generation, the whole tribe could flourish. I can become a guest of Ji tribe, but I don't have any interest in becoming an external elder. Fang Yuan walked forward while shaking his head to refuse. Ji Yao persuaded him several times, but Fang Yuan's attitude was firm. The girl sulked and followed behind Fang Yuan, looking at his back with an angry gaze. Do you think you are amazing just because you can teach? HMPH, I used such an urging tone, yet you remain unmoved. No interest to become my Ji tribe's external elder? Are you looking down on my Ji tribe? Chang Shan Yin, you scoundrel. Ji Yao gritted her teeth in hatred while having a doubt in her mind. But this name Chang Shan Yin, it is really familiar, where in the world did I hear it? Poison grassland was covered with dark clouds all year round, and in this dusky light, the two walked for some distance. Fang Yuan stopped. 
in front of him was a large field of sunflowers. Each of these sunflowers had a dark purple stalk and large pitch black petals. Its basin-sized stamen showed a pale human face. Ghost Face Sunflower This sight caused Ji Yao to immediately hold her breath and grab Fang Yuan's sleeve, whispering in a very soft voice. A lot of people definitely died here, with many ghosts wandering around, it led to the growth of so many ghost face sunflowers. Every ghost face sunflower is a ghost that died unjustly. Let's detour around this place, there are definitely many ghost cry goo living in these ghost face sunflowers, and there could even be ghost face goo. Ghost cry goo was a rank 3 soul path goo, which could let out a mournful wail that could cause the soul to shake. Ghost face goo was a rank 4 soul path goo that could create a tremendous impact on the soul. It is such a large field of ghost face sunflowers, how long will we take to make a detour? Fang Yuan concentrated on this sea of sunflowers, he did not show any expression on the surface, but was actually very happy inside. This confirmed the direction he was walking towards was not wrong. As long as he walked along this direction, he will find that battlefield twenty years ago and obtain the goo worms left behind on the battlefield. Northern Plains was different from Southern Border. Southern Border had lots of mountains and one could distinguish their general direction. While Northern Plains was grassland as far as the eye could see and was very easy to get lost. Thus, Ji Yao carried Return Heart Gu with her for support. Return Heart Gu would always point towards the direction of the home in the Gu Master's heart. However, Return Heart Gu could only indicate the direction and not the position. If Fang Yuan wanted to ensure that he was moving in the correct path, he would have to take the risk of moving through this field of sunflowers. Fortunately, he was already prepared. He lightly removed the girl's hand on his sleeve and squatted down. He put his palms on the ground and then activated a goo in his aperture. Soon, green underbrush grew out from the ground. The lush underbrush rose little by little and the slender grass and leaves coiled around each other, gradually forming into a puppet. Enslavement Path Rank 3 Grass Puppet Goo this goo worm was something only Southern Border had. Ji Yao looked at each grassman puppet with astonishment. They continued to grow and soon formed a group. These grassman puppets were short and thin, the leaves tightly weaved together. They held a bamboo blade on one hand and a rattan shell shield in the other. This was the rank 3 rattan shell grass soldier. Previously, when Fang Yuan had fought one against seven at Sancha Mountain, Tai Ruo Nan had used such a goo. Later, Fang Yuan obtained a grass puppet goo in Three Kings' blessed land from one of the people he killed. Grass puppet goo was rather common in southern border. Rank three grass puppet goo could could create an army of rattan shell grass soldier that had the strength to kill rank one goo masters. Rank 4 Grass Puppet Goo could create Grass Sword Elite Soldiers, which possessed even stronger battle strength. However, at Northern Plains, the Grass Puppet Goo also suffered from the restriction, and the Rattan Shell Grass Soldiers it created were weak. However, Fang Yuan created these Rattan Shell Grass Soldiers not for battle and was indifferent about them. After a while, close to a thousand Rattan Shell Grass Soldiers started clearing the way in front of him. Fang Yuan pulled Ji Yao's hand, and under the protection of another hundred rattan shell grass soldiers, they walked into the sea of ghost face sunflowers. Yeah. Me. B. Every ghost cry goo let out a sharp screech. The rattan shell grass soldiers ahead collapsed. The voices the ghost cry goo let out were not the same. Some were sharp, frightened sounds, some were like the bleeding of sheeps, and some seemed to be recounting hidden bitterness. Ghost, ghost faces are rising. The girl shook as she looked at the pale, terrifying ghost faces fly out from the sea of sunflowers. Fang Yuan gently patted her hand and then calmly organized the puppets. Soon, some rattan shell grass soldiers left the main group and sacrificed themselves to lure the ghost faces away. Chapter 429, Shadow Crow The two got through Sunflower Sea safely. Ji Yao looked behind her, breathing out deeply, her worried heart finally settled. To think that we got past the sea of ghost-faced sunflowers so easily. 
After regaining her composure, the young girl looked at the grassman puppets around her. There were only a few dozen puppets left, forming a weak defensive layer around them. Ji Yao had never seen such a goo in her life. This was an eye-opener. These goo, although they do not have high combat strength, the greatest advantage is to use them as fodder. Chang Shen Yin came prepared indeed. Thinking so, the young girl diverted her gaze towards the person beside her. The more she spent time with Fang Yuan, the more curious Ji Yao got and the greater her determination to find out more about him. What sort of person is he? Entering poison grassland, what motive does he have? Chang Shan Yin, Chang Shan Yin, this name is so familiar, I've heard it before. Ah. The young girl's face turned red. When they had crossed the sunflower sea earlier, Fang Yuan held her hand. Those ghost cries and scary ghost faces made her frightened, she got closer to Fang Yuan and was almost hugging his arm, but she did not notice. Ji Yao quickly let go of Fang Yuan's arm, getting free of his hand. After she got to a safe distance, Fang Yuan slowly stopped his steps, turning to look at these sunflowers. These ghost cry goo and ghost face goo are decent goo, but I do not have the specialized goo worms needed to catch them. Catching a wild goo worm requires specific methods. These two goo worms were soul path goo, the goo needed to catch them were even more peculiar. It is time. Fang Yuan's gaze concentrated, discarding his mild regret as he turned his gaze towards fixed immortal travel goo on his shoulder. Immortal goo have overbearing aura, they could not be stored into mortal apertures. Spring-autumn cicada could barely be kept in the aperture due to its weakened state. Even if Fang Yuan ordered fixed immortal travel goo to stay on his shoulders and not move about, the immortal goo's aura would still leak. If a goo immortal senses it, it would invite grave danger. But thankfully, Fang Yuan had measures against this. He took out bright pearl goo. Go! He injected his primeval essence, and the bright pearl goo turned into a warm white light, floating onto fixed immortal travel's body, covering it completely. Bright pearl goo is a rank 4 storage type goo, mainly used to seal goo worms and cause them to go into deep slumber and be easily stored. Fang Yuan expended almost all his primeval essence before he successfully sealed the fixed immortal travel goo. Fixed immortal travel goo was like a jade butterfly, sealed into a fist-sized pearl. But it was an immortal goo, its aura still leaked out through the pearl. Except, it was much weaker now. Fang Yuan was not surprised, this was only step one. The following journey was much smoother. Perhaps due to that sunflower sea, not a single poison beard wolf appeared. The two continued to venture deeper as the poisonous fog on the grassland became thicker, until one could clearly see the purple fog in the air. When the two started coughly, they would stop moving and take out their goo worms respectively, getting rid of the toxins that accumulated in them. The deeper they went into the grassland, the thicker the fog, and the more often the two of them stopped. Ji Yao, who was active and lively, also started keeping quiet in order to avoid breathing in too much of the poison fog. Eventually, the purple fog started to obscure their vision. How much deeper are we going? Ji Yao could not help but ask. The deepest part of the poison grassland was a forbidden area for living beings. The deeper they go, the stronger the wild beasts inside. Many experts who went to explore lost their lives here, none returned. Among them were rank 3 peak stage experts and even rank 4. Thun. Fang Yuan replied plainly as he walked slower until he stopped. Are we there? It's here? Ji Yao asked happily. Fang Yuan did not say a word, he squatted down and moved away some poisonous shrubs that had a weird appearance as a hole that was hidden by the bushes appeared before him. This hole was the size of a large bowl, it has a smooth edge, inside the hole was pure darkness. Ji Yao saw this and her eyes were fixed on the hole, breathing roughly. This, this is a hole dug by a earth spike rat. They live together in thousands and even ten thousands, forming into a huge group. They live under the grass inside the soil, as long as there are vibrations in the ground, they would attack from below. 
Their heads are like steel spikes, once they shoot out, it can pierce a person's feet. Even a horse's hoofs can get pierced. We cannot go forward anymore. Once we get encircled, there will be no way to survive. We will be submerged by endless rats. Along the way, we met no poison beard wolves. This shows that the earth spike rats are the lord of this area. Who knows, the earth spike rat king might be a myriad beast king. The young girl had lived in the grassland since young. She knew clearly how powerful the earth spike rats were. No, my destination is further ahead. Fang Yuan stood up. Chang Shan Yin, excessive bravery is courting death. You cannot walk over this. In fact, in just a few steps, you will get attacked by the rats. Ji Yao quickly explained. But Fang Yuan smiled lightly. Who said I am going to walk over? Just as he said so, pitch black wings grew on his back. This, Ji Yao stared with wide opened eyes. Before she reacted, Fang Yuan already carried her up. As the girl screamed, Fang Yuan flapped his wings and flew above the ground. Ji Yao felt like her heart was stuck in her throat. The wind was blowing at her ears as she felt herself on swimming in clouds. Her legs could not touch the ground thus she subconsciously grabbed Fang Yuan's neck. After a while, the young girl reacted and laughed heartily in Fang Yuan's arms. Chang Shan Yin, to think that you can fly. Father has a flying cloud goo. He used to bring me to play in the sky when I was young. Sigh, sadly flying cloud goo is a rank 4 goo, I cannot use it. But even if I could, father would not allow it, he would be afraid of me falling from the sky. Ji Yao recalled, before asking curiously, Chang Shen Yin, what flying goo is this, why have I not seen it before? Fang Yuan did not answer. The young girl did not give up. This is the rank 3 Eagle Wings Goo. Such speed and altitude is similar to Eagle Wings Goo, but this does not look like it. Fang Yuan sighed. You ask too many questions. Rather than asking me useless questions, why don't you spend your effort on the Shadow Crows ahead of us? Shadow Crow? The young girl reacted, seeing three Shadow Crows in front flying towards them soundlessly. The shadow crows were large as an eagle, their bodies were black, and they moved without sound. In this foggy poison grassland, they were even more stealthy. The young girl's expression paled, her voice trembling. Chang Shan Yin, how good is your flying technique? If you are not good, let's land and defend on the grassland. No worries. Fang Yuan's voice was emotionless. I'm carrying you, I cannot attack. Next, it will depend on whether your spiral water arrow is accurate. What? Ah! The young girl had not understood what he said when Fang Yuan flapped his wings fiercely and charged towards the three shadow crows. Fang Yuan used his actions to reply Ji Yao. This is too insane, he did not think of running away, but instead wants to kill these three shadow crows. Ji Yao was shocked in her panic, she shot out two water arrows. But these two water arrows, one missed completely while the other grazed the shadow crow's wing. Too slow again, Fang Yuan made a perfect turn as he flapped his wings towards the shadow crows again. What? Hey, wait, don't fight them. We are not on the ground. Our opponents are the shadow crows famous for speed, Ji Yao shouted. The two humans and three birds charged towards each other in the air as they got closer and closer. Ji Yao could see a shadow crow enlarging quickly in her vision. As they got close, the shadow crow brandished its dagger like sharp claws. Seeing that the sharp claw was about to hit her, Ji Yao's body turned cold from fright. Her fingers and legs were stiff as she was immobilized. We're going to collide, I am going to die. Just as she had this thought, Fang Yuan kept his wings and they descended quickly, narrowly avoiding the shadow crow's claw. Next, he stretched out his wings and flapped hard, making a zigzag turn, flying up and chasing behind the shadow crow. Fire quickly, Fang Yuan shouted. Ji Yao's body reacted to his voice and subconsciously shot out a spiral water arrow. Fang Yuan's flying technique was too profound, he directly flew behind the shadow crow, its back was completely exposed to Ji Yao. 
the spiral water arrow shot the shadow crow, piercing its body and causing a trail of blood. The shadow crow was killed on the spot, like a kite with its strings cut, it fell onto the ground with a loud thump. The grassland was silent for a moment before the ground vibrated, as numerous earth spike rats popped up from underground. That shadow crow corpse was immediately dismembered and dragged into the holes made on the ground piece by piece. The large shadow crow vanished in an instant, leaving behind a pool of blood as well as some small pieces of intestines. The young girl became overwhelmingly nervous after seeing this. If she really fell, she would immediately get attacked by the earth spike rats, she would definitely die. What are you thinking? Shoot them, Fang Yuan chided, interrupting the girl's thoughts as she hurriedly attacked, shooting over ten arrows before killing the two shadow crows. The two shadow crows landed on the ground and were immediately taken by the earth spike rats. Ji Yao looked at this as cold sweat appeared on her face. Your accuracy is terrible. Quickly use primeval stones to recover your primeval essence. As Fang Yuan scolded, Ji Yao took out one primeval stones, but because she was flustering, this primeval stones fell out of her hand and landed on the ground. You idiot. So, sorry. The young girl apologized in a sobbing tone. Focus, calm down, display your usual ability, there will be many shadow crows later, I have to depend on you. Fang Yuan's voice became more gentle. Yes, yes. Ji Yao nodded her head in succession. After Fang Yuan consoled her, her mind slowly returned to a calm state. Chapter 430 White Bone Chariot An entire hour later Fang Yuan carried Ji Yao as they safely landed on the ground. Ji Yao's legs went soft, her expression was pale, and she had to catch her breath after getting back to the land, recovering slowly. During the flying process, she had killed at least a hundred shadow crows, she had felt that she was struggling at death's door during the process. During the process of flying, they were in great danger, facing the assault of many waves of shadow crows and even attracted the attack of the earth spike rats. Not only were there an endless number of shadow crows in the sky, numerous earth spikes would shoot up from the ground at times. It was a truly precarious situation. Fang Yuan spread his wings, twisted and turned, circled, dived and rose into the sky under such attacks. Finding impossible opportunities, he managed to find a way out of the rain of attacks. I actually survived from facing such an insane number of enemies. This was Ji Yao's first thought when she landed. The relief of surviving an ordeal, an unbelievable feeling of happiness, and the after fear of recalling the situation after she had experienced all these, Ji Yao looked at Fang Yuan with a complicated expression as he was healing the injuries on his body. Even if the girl was ignorant, after such an experience, she knew that Fang Yuan was a grand expert in flying. Moreover, Ji Yao was not an ordinary young girl from the grassland. Her father was the leader of a tribe in her entire life, she had been greatly influenced by him. Her horizons were expanded, and she knew much more than her peers. The man before me, he has such skilled flying techniques, he is so strong, Inside that strong body of his is there a flying eagle soul. Such flying technique can compete with lightning Dong Po Kong, water immortal Song King Yin, and green bat Wu Yi. This is a first-rate flying technique in northern plains. Chang Shan Yin, Chang Shan Yin, what kind of person are you? Fang Yuan quickly took care of his injuries. Facing a storm-like attack, even if his flying technique was top tier, he could not avoid getting hit sometimes. Most importantly, the rank 4 bone wings Gu only had rank 3 effectiveness in northern plains. At the same time, he was carrying a person, with the increase in weight, it affected his agility. But having Ji Yao's help, the advantage was greater than the disadvantage. If she did not use water arrow and water dragon to kill the crow groups, or if she did not use water armor to defend us, my primeval essence might not be enough. Fang Yuan thought. As a southern border Gu master, when I am in northern plains, my cultivation will be suppressed, but thankfully, as time passes and I slowly assimilate into northern plains, this suppression will decrease. 
man is the spirit of all beings, they had great adaptability with the environment they were in. Of course, when Fang Yuan completely mixes in with northern border and his cultivation returns to normal, when he returns to southern border, he will face suppression again and would need to adapt and assimilate once again. Man can adapt to the environment, but goo worms cannot. Southern border goo worms will continue to face suppression. All my goo worms still expend the same amount of primeval essence, but their use is greatly reduced. Rank 4 goo worms in southern border are inferior to rank 3 northern plains goo worms here. But if he killed Ji Yao, he only had a very small chance of getting her goo worms. Oni by using her like this, can this rank 3 middle stage goo master's worth be fully displayed? If not for Ji Yao, I would not be able to advance so quickly. Although her goo worms are good, I have no way of taking them. These southern border goo worms, I need to change them out, other than considering their battle strength, they are also the greatest flaw in hiding my identity. I have to get to that battlefield. Fang you inside internally, taking out bright pearl goo. Fixed immortal travel goo is sealed inside bright pearl goo, like a beautiful amber. In front of Ji Yao, Fang Yuan took out bright pearl goo forthrightly. Dusty goo was like a cocoon, its body was dark gray and felt like sandpaper. Fang Yuan injected primeval essence and dusty goo exploded lightly, turning into a gray smoke cloud. The gray smoke moved towards bright pearl goo as if it was sentient. The originally shining bright pearl goo was covered by this dust cover and dimmed. The fixed immortal travel goo's aura diminished once again. This became a dusty pearl. In Fang Yuan's previous life, when he got to Central Continent and caused the five-region chaotic battle, some goo masters slipped into other regions to battle, and in order to hide their identities and conceal their aura, they created this method. What are you doing? Ji Yao asked curiously. Fang Yuan did not answer her, he kept the dimmed pearl into his pocket and continued on his journey. The two continued to advance as the poison fog in the air became thicker, the thick purple color fog started to affect their vision. The two had to stop more frequently, using goo worms to eliminate the poison in them. Crack. A crisp sound came from the below their feet like they had stepped on some twigs. Ji Yao directed her gaze over in suspicion, before screaming and jumping back like a rabbit. W.H., why is there a human skull here? she said with a trembling voice. Because this is a battlefield. Fang Yuan walked ahead of her, not turning back but instead walking even faster. Battlefield? Hey, wait for me, don't go so fast. Ji Yao quickly followed after Fang Yuan. The more she walked, the more shocked she was. Before, the thick purple fog was covering her vision, but now that she got close, she could see many skeletons on the rotting grassland, skeletons of both humans and wolves. There were deep pits and trenches in the ground, evidently, a fierce battle had taken place here. So many people died, who engaged in such a brawl here? But the trenches and pits have already been outgrown by poisonous grass, looking at the other traces, this battle took place at least twenty years ago. Ji Yao was behind Fang Yuan, seeing him search continuously, like he was trying to find something she understood. So Chang Shan Yin's purpose for entering this poison grassland is this battlefield? What is he looking for? Wait, twenty years ago, in the poison grassland, there was indeed a huge battle. Father had spoken with someone about this, I was beside him at that time. A memory surfaced deep in Ji Yao's mind. Back then, Ji Yao was still young, she was only four or five years old. Her father invited an esteemed guest and brought her along with him. In the tent, the adults were talking about the heroes in the grassland. Speaking of which, Chang tribe has an amazing person. You mean the Wolf King? That's right, this person is an enslavement path Gu master heavily nurtured by Chang tribe, he moved like the wind and attacked like the rain, he could alter his battle formations as he wished, he has great abilities. Most importantly, he is a righteous figure, he is extremely filial to his mother. This time, because his mother was poisoned by a unique poison, it can only be cured by the snow wash goo inside the spiria. 
he ignored all opposition and ventured into poison grassland alone. Sigh, that is exactly why Wolf King died. Yes, this matter was a huge scheme from start to end. Wolf King's enemy Ha Tugu planned this. Ha Tugu wanted to kill Wolf King, but he was not to be trifled with, killing all of the bandits with Ha Tugu and eliminated a huge pest for the grassland. But it is a pity for this hero, Wolf King Chang Shan Yin, he lost his life at Poison Grassland. Chang Shan Yin, you are Wolf King Chang Shan Yin. Thinking of this, Ji Yao opened her mouth, staring at Fang Yuan fixedly. Oh, you know about Chang Shan Yin too? Fang Yuan replied lightly as he continued searching. But Ji Yao quickly shook her head. No, no way. Looking at his age by now, if Chang Shan Yin is alive, he should be at least 40 years old. How can he be as young as you? Furthermore, your appearance and accent are completely different. You are not Chang Shan Yin. Haha, <laughs> if I am not Chang Shan Yin, who am I? Oh right, who are you? Why are you impersonating a dead goo master? Ji Yao's mind was full of questions. Suddenly, her eyes brightened up. Wait. Although after Chang Shan Yin died, his mother also died of poison. But he was already married and had kids. His son is already grown up and is quite a talented person. Don't tell me, you are Chang Shan Yin's son. Fang Yuan laughed, just as he was about to answer, he heard a strange sound near his ears. This sound was like old wheels rolling on the ground. Following this sound, a large white bone wheel appeared in the purple fog. It was as tall as two men, one five of them in width, its body was made of white bones. On the surface of the carriage, sharp bone spikes were protruding out. At the spoke of the wheel, there was a large skull. The skull's horrific eye sockets were burning with blood-red flames. Careful, this is Ha Tu Gu's Rank 5 Gu Battle Bone Wheel. Fang Yuan had just warned when the wheel accelerated, crushing over with an imposing aura. Golden Dragon Gu, Fang Yuan pushed with his hand, and the dragon roared, smashing on the wheel. The wheel vibrated, easily smashing the golden dragon to bits and continued to attack Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan quickly spread his bone wings and flew into the sky. But the wheel also lifted off from the ground, flying into the air. Golden Coat Gu, Fang Yuan knew he could not dodge and decided to face it head on. Bam, he was sent flying, landing on the ground, causing his body to be covered in rotten grass. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Three spiral water arrows shot the wheel consecutively. The white bone wheel landed on the ground, causing mud to splash. It gave up on Fang Yuan, turning its target to Ji Yao, rolling over. Ji Yao quickly activated the water trace Gu, summoning her water armor and dodging while attacking back. Fang Yuan also arrived quickly and started to assist her. This was a tough fight. The opponent was a rank 5 Gu. It was Ha Tu Gu's core Gu. After Ha Tu Gu died, it became a wild Gu and ate white bones as food. White Bone Wheel's attack was fierce, it often crushed its opponents into meat paste. Fang Yuan was suppressed, and his battle strength was lowered, he also did not bring a rank 5 Gu, he could not face the White Bone Wheel directly. His original plan was to avoid the White Bone Wheel and find Chang Shan Yin's corpse. But with Ji Yao to assist him, he changed his plans and decided to battle. After fighting for four hours, using the kiting tactic devised by Fang Yuan, the two bullied the White Bone Wheel's lack of intelligence, taking breaks in turns and eventually caused the White Bone Wheel to fall over. Once the battle was decided, Fang Yuan placed both hands on the White Bone Wheel, sending his will and primeval essence into it. White Bone Wheel was a rank 5 Gu. Even if he had the rank 6 Spring Autumn Cicada and fixed Immortal Travel Goo, they could not help him to instantly refine it. But the wheel was full of cracks, it was almost going to break apart, it was a step away from being destroyed. With Fang Yuan's hundred-man soul, he had ample mental energy, and with his firm will, he continuously injected primeval essence into it, after spending 15 minutes, he finally subdued it. Rank 5 Goo obtained, 